Hi you guys, Shauna here, AKA the Bohemian Blonde, making a quick video for you guys on a clean eating trip to Aldi. I'm currently sitting outside of the store right now. It's super busy, it looks like inside. So I have my checklist with me. I got some of the items crossed off because I do have them at home, but the other ones we're gonna get today. And if you're interested, I have a five day clean eating guide below. I'm following it to an exact T today and I'm going to be going through this store and picking up my favorite items. Aldi is a growing in popularity because not only has their organic line sort of come about in the past couple months here, but they actually have a really good fit and active brand if you haven't already been there and check that out as well. So we're gonna go through this door. I'm gonna show you my favorite ones, give you some tips along the way, and then we're gonna do an actual grocery haul at the end so you can see exactly what I picked up and the meals that we're gonna be having this week. And hint, hint, if you are a mac and cheese fan, I have a super clean and delicious recipe for you to follow, again, right in that link below. So let's have some fun, go into the store, and I'll walk you through everything. All right, so we're off heading into the store. One thing to keep in mind with Aldi is that the perimeter of the store, as you can see, has lots of the junk food section, but you'll find some good nuggets in there, just like I found this popcorn. Uh, 39 calories for a cup, and look at that price, $1.29. So good. That's why I love shopping at Aldi. And we got some organic options. Um, full disclosure that Chobani is not from there, but it is part of our meal plan for the week. So I did have that ahead of time. And see how that Fit and Active brand keeps popping up on different labels? That's the one to go for. I just got back from Aldi. The store was so packed. There were so many people. I'm going to show you exactly what I brought home. So, looks like a lot, right? <laughs> Everything was about $87 when I came out to it. So I got a bunch of meat, lots of veggies, lots of fruit. So let's just get walking through everything. One thing that I love about Aldi is that they have a growing organic section. And this is pretty fabulous because the store, the prices simply just cannot be beat. We go to Trader Joe's a lot, but I think we're going to be making a big transition over to Aldi. But I got these organic baby carrots that are going to go perfect with uh, this four quad of hummus. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different flavors in there, which are super good to keep your snacks on track for the week. Got some delicious zucchini while we were there. And um, this one, you can see how big these guys are. These are going to make some really good zoodles for the week ahead. Big bag of apples. Um, I have a really good homemade apple crisp, a single apple crisp that you can put in the oven that's less than 100 calories, which I'll definitely be showing you guys this fall. Some bananas. We go through bananas, usually one every single day. I like to put it in my shakes in the morning. Uh, they're really good to have before a workout and after a workout too. So, you know, pick which way you want to go with that. There is some organic strawberries. These were on sale, so I grabbed two of them. These are going to be really good uh, for snacks throughout the day, also for breakfast. Some salsa, which of course, if you guys are um, big salsa eaters, this stuff is fabulous, by the way. Some cheese, uh, some cucumbers, and then we have a bunch of avocados. We also got some lean ground turkey down here, and pretty good deal on this chicken as well. This is a whole like six dollars for this much chicken and if you guys are bacon fans I would highly recommend going for an uncured bacon which just means it doesn't have the nitrates in it nitrates are a preservative so anytime that you can do less preservatives in your diet the better some garbanzo beans these are super good if you roast them in the oven and add some spices they're good to put on top of salads too um, tomatoes for our recipes these this week String cheese, again, organic. You can see I already got into here. I already had one today. Um, some, the Fit and Active brand is really good for, um, you know, less sugar and all that good stuff. They have very low salt in this too, the Fit and Active brand. Lots of veggies down here. You're going to find our lettuce and our spinach. And then up over here, we're big pepper fans in our family. So I got three big ones, uh, three big packs of these. The colorful ones are sweeter, so if you're trying peppers for the first time or you're incorporating them into different recipes, these ones are going to be sweeter than the green ones. So just keep that in mind. Some mangoes, well, we were there because we are big mango fans in this family. Um, we like to 
a super easy way is to slice this open and then actually take the core out with a cup. Then egg whites, we have lots of egg whites in our morning breakfast. And then let me show you my little sweet and savory pile here. Brand new, some quinoa puffs, popcorn. These looked pretty interesting to me. 100 calorie snack packs. Dinner tonight, so I just thought I'd show you guys all of our goodies. All right, we're off into the kitchen. We're actually making our own breadcrumbs. This is my husband here. And we're using Ezekiel bread and we're just making little bits of it to mix in with our turkey burgers. Love Himalayan pink salt. We use it on everything. Doing the burger pass here. Drew is outside, so sending off the turkey burgers to him to grill them up. He's such a good grill master. <laughs> That's our cat, Sydney. Checking it out, seeing what's going on. And I'm back inside, got the candle lit. I, I, I did purchase this from Aldi as well. I think it was like $1.29, maybe $2.50, something like that. So back in the kitchen, I'm going to whip up our favorite spring salad. This is, or spring mix salad. This is so good. We add peppers to just about everything at home, so you'll see that a lot in our kitchen. But slice up a yellow pepper, and then this is my dressing. This is our go-to almost all the time. Some extra virgin olive oil. I just eyeball it at this point. And then add a little apple cider vinegar. I love this apple cider vinegar. It's so good. And then we top it off with Drew's family all-purpose Greek seasoning called Yaya B. We use this on everything. It's so good. Tons of flavor. And just shake a little bit into the dressing. And then you'll see here in a second. Just stir it up real nice and good so that the olive oil and the vinegar mix up. And then we'll go ahead and pour it onto our salad. It's a light, tangy flavor without, you know, like a ton of calories in it. It's really good, really refreshing, especially with the peppers and the lettuce and all that mixed together. So we'll get that all added here. Give it a good whisk around. And I did end up adding in some more lettuce to this just because it was a little on the sad side for the amount of greens. So added in some more lettuce as well. Always nice to get all the added fiber. And guess what that is? It's some hemp hearts. So I added some hemp hearts to the top of the salad. You, can't, you literally can't even taste it. Chopped up some strawberries for dinner, and guess what? Yes, you did see that correctly. That is an avocado. Normally this doesn't happen, but when you go to the store and you get avocados and they're not quite ripe yet, normally it's the other way around. They get too ripe too quickly. But if you go to the store, you get one that isn't ripe yet, you know, knock on wood, knock on stoves, whatever. Um, here's a tip. All you want to do is set your oven to 200 degrees and then pop it in here. I'll show you. we got one cooking right now. And this baby will be ready in 10 minutes. So quickest way to do it, set your oven to 200 degrees, pop it in for 10 minutes, and then you have a ripe avocado. <laughs> Don't you just love him? He's so funny. <laughs> So now we're on to dinner for the night, chit-chatting, having some of the delicious strawberries, Sydney again. And this is actually night number two. So we are making our delicious sirloin, but I actually put it in the slow cooker. I had a really busy day. So I went ahead and put it in the slow cooker and let it cook up that way, almost like a barbacola style. So if you follow the recipe, you'll see it's super easy if you want to just do it in the slow cooker as well. Again, we got some peppers on night two, adding in some garlic, getting this all nice and sauteed, and this will be added to our meat, and as you'll see later, I create a salad out of it, and then Drew goes for more of like the taco version. And if you haven't already subbed out sour cream for plain Greek yogurt, give it a try. It is so good. And spring salad is, or spring mix salad is back out for dinner again, night two, and got that fresh salsa from Aldi as well. It was really, really good. I went for the medium one. As you can tell, we love salsa. <laughs> 
dinner's ready. We got it all ready, and we're sitting over at our table getting everything plated. If you guys like Tabasco sauce, that Chipotle one is to die for. So good. And super easy to make a salad out of it, too, if you're looking to save on the calories. My lovely husband. <laughs> <laughs> he is so adorable so we're now making dessert and this is actually going to be for the rest of the week too for whenever we have a little sweet tooth craving uh, these are the energy balls that you'll also find on the recipe guide they're a little messy as you can tell <laughs> ton of fun to make though honestly uh, we had a blast making these they're so easy and create mix all the ingredients together I did have to add in a little bit more peanut butter because it was a little too dry. So if you find that on your recipe as well, go ahead, add some peanut butter. But I'm just rolling up the energy balls and then putting them into here just to make it easier. And all we're going to do after they're done is pop them in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then they're ready to eat. You can put them in little baggies throughout the week to have them at any time. So I hope you enjoyed this. That was a ton of fun to make. I'm so happy that you got into my channel and checked it out. Next month, my husband and I are actually taking a road trip uh, from Southern California to Northern California. We're taking Highway 1 along the Pacific Coast, and I would love to know your must-stop places and things to do, things to eat. We like to eat healthy while we're on the road. We will have some really good clean eating ideas and snacks and that sort of thing, but I want to hear from you. What should we do while we go? And let us... Let me know in the comments below. Another thing is that we will be making a video after our trip and possibly during. Let's see how things shake out. I'm not quite sure how it'll all work out, but I would love your feedback on what we should be doing. You can follow my entire daily journey while we're in California on my Snapchat account at the Boho Blonde. I look forward to seeing you again and subscribe to my channel to never miss a thing. Peace.